Hey, C3, I don't know about you, but I hate interruptions. Uh, interruptions are not my friend. I had all kinds of stuff planned and scheduled for this week and for this month, and it looks like a lot of that has to be rescheduled or canceled. Uh, but usually, uh, when there's an interruption, there's also an opportunity. And I believe that as a church, we have three opportunities in light of everything that's happening uh, in our culture because of the coronavirus. And the first opportunity I think that we have is to connect and care for one another in new and creative ways. Somebody asked me why we canceled church. We didn't cancel church. Uh, the church is so much more uh, than a church building or a specific place or time uh, that we meet. We had church online this past Sunday, and Pastor Tim did a great job of continuing our series, Believe That You May Have Life. Uh, we're going to be able to continue that platform uh, of having church online and delivering the message this upcoming Sunday and look for new ways of, of adding uh, worship and different additions to be able to help you take your next step of faith uh, in Christ. If you missed the message, be sure to check out c3willing.com. You can watch the video there. Uh, you can download our app. You can also check out our Facebook page. Uh, and we look forward to offering that live at 930 and 1115 again this upcoming Sunday as Pastor Ted is going to give a message that's really pertinent uh, to how we can respond in light of everything uh, that is happening. In addition, uh, we are uh, going to be talking to our community group leaders about ways that they uh, can connect with you and you can connect with one another via Zoom and other platforms. Uh, we will also are able to uh, call one another and send each other texts and try to encourage one another. And I would encourage you to do that. There's people who are probably uh, feeling uh, a little anxious and, and missing seeing everybody on Sunday mornings and on Wednesdays. Consider giving a, a text or a phone call uh, an encouraging email, uh, getting online and, and talking with one another. Uh, it may not be the same as meeting in person, but man, there's a great opportunity for us uh, to connect uh, in new and in creative ways. And we're going to be offering even more ways, uh, including a, a Wednesday uh, Bible study uh, that will begin next week. Uh, where uh, we will uh, allow you to, to get on a video conference call and uh, you'll be able to answer questions and read scripture and, and, and interact with uh, the pastor that's leading and, and with one another as well. And so, uh, number one, we have an opportunity to connect and care for one another in new and creative ways. And number two, I believe that we have an opportunity uh, to invest in our community. You know, Jesus did tell us uh, that the way that people would know that we were followers of Christ is that we loved one another. And so we need to do that well. Uh, but we're also called to love our neighbor. And we want to love our neighbor well, especially those that are in need. And there's so many people that have been laid off work or their hours have been reduced or they can't go to work because their kids are home from school or they have weakened immune systems or are vulnerable in some other way or are shut in. Uh, there's teen moms and single moms uh, who, who can't go grocery shopping and they can only buy certain things because of uh, uh, food uh, stamps only allows them to buy certain things and then those things aren't on the, the shelves when they go shopping if they even can get a ride to go shopping and so there's so many different ways uh, that we can show the love of Jesus uh, to our neighbors and to those around us uh, during this difficult time. I've already put in a phone call to some great local organizations that we partner with uh, asking how can we help as a church but also how can individuals in our church help and uh, we are continuing to discuss that, and as I have more information, I'll be sure to share that uh, with you as well. But be on the lookout uh, to represent Jesus well and to help those uh, that are in need. Now, collectively, as a church, uh, in order for us to be able to invest in the needs of others, uh, we do need uh, your faithful generosity to continue. Uh, you know, only about 25% of our weekly giving comes uh, online which means that when we don't have a Sunday morning service, that 75% of what we normally would get uh, has not come in. And so we did send a letter uh, this week to all of our active members. You can be on the lookout for it uh, with some giving envelopes. If you'd like to give and send that in, uh, thank you for your generosity. But also consider going online to c3willing.com slash giving and setting up reoccurring giving. Because when we know that we're going to be receiving uh, the money on a regular basis, it allows us to be 
uh, even more wise and discerning about how to invest in the community, invest in the needs of those in the community during these difficult times. And so, uh, number one, we have an opportunity to connect in new and creative ways uh, and take care of one another. Uh, number two, we have an opportunity to show the love of Jesus uh, to uh, the world around us, to, to invest in our community. Uh, and number three, I believe that we have an opportunity uh, to pause, to be still, and to pray. So many of us were so busy all the time, and, and my calendar was so full, and, and I'm just running around doing, doing, doing. Uh, that uh, over the last week or so, I've had a few opportunities that I haven't had in a long time to just pause and to be still and to know that God is God and that I am not and to spend some time in prayer, uh, connecting with God and praying for those that are in need uh, in our community. And so uh, yesterday, Taylor McCluskey, one of our elders, he popped in the office and he told me that when the Ebola crisis was happening uh, in Africa, Young Life Africa encouraged its leaders to pray Psalm 91 every single day for 91 days. And after Taylor left, I read Psalm 91 and man, was it moving. And so uh, we included a letter uh, in that envelope that we sent out to all the, the active members. And on the back side of it, I put Psalm 91 and whether you're a member or not, I want to invite you to pray in Psalm 91 every single day for the foreseeable future so that together we can know that God is God, that we are not, that he's in control, that he has our back, that he's for us, that he's going to get us through us, and we can experience the peace that only he uh, can bring. And I believe that if we pray uh, on a regular basis, if we pray every single day, uh, for the doctors and the nurses and uh, for the vulnerable and, and for uh, the needs of those uh, in the community. I believe that, that it's going to increase our faith so much that we're going to be so full of faith that uh, we won't be able to help but, but spill out that, that peace and that courage and that faithfulness to the world around us that's so full of anxiety and worry. And so even though this may look like an interruption, I believe that it's a real opportunity. Will you join me in praying? Heavenly Father, thank you so much for uh, your faithfulness to C3 for 20 years. You have been faithful over and over and over again in difficult seasons and in joyful seasons. And we look back and we see that so many lives have been changed right here in this church, but you've also used this church to impact this great community in incredible ways. And, and we know that we have an opportunity. We have an opportunity now uh, to be able to connect and to care for one another in new and creative ways. We also have a great opportunity to be able to represent you well, to invest in, in the community, to help people that are in need. And I pray that you would give all of us individually, but also collectively, wisdom about ways that we can truly represent you well and be your hands and feet to those that are in need in our community during this difficult time. And also, I pray that every single one of us would use this time as an opportunity to pause, to be still, to know that you are God, that we are not, to pray to connect with you, to pray for the needs of others, the doctors and the nurses and the weak and the vulnerable and for the children, for those who are sick. And, and the list goes on and on and on. And God, I pray that as we pray, that we would experience a peace that surpasses understanding and that our, we would just be filled with so much faith that we would be able to encourage those around us with your goodness and with your grace and that we would be able to represent you well. Thank you for the opportunity that has come as a result of all of this. In Jesus' name, amen. And so even though it may seem like an interruption, I believe that we have a real opportunity. May we represent Jesus well during such a time as this. I look forward to seeing you this Sunday online.